Just tell us a little bit about your characters and how they get pulled into this mysterious world. Uh, I think because it's I make him. Oh, great, thanks. Ladies so because I make your character, get pulled in. I don't think you're um, part of the reluctant one. <laughs> yeah. I don't even want to be here. I don't, you know, what's no, funny no. is I don't think any of us have a choice in the matter when it comes to being a messenger. It, it happens and we don't really get to choose that. It was a, it was a choice above and beyond us. Um, you know, I, I play Vera Buckley and uh, I'm the scientist. I work for NASA. This one's my sidekick, partner in crime. I play Alan Harris, who, who is her side, sidekick. Yeah, smarter partner sidekick, crime. fine. Um, and, and basically what happens is we are at the VLA and we are there doing research and this mysterious object yes yeah, starts falling to earth and we actually track it and watch it fall and impact in front of us and when it does my character passes out dies who knows what I, I step out of the van find out she's on the ground I check her pulse she seems dead to me get the defibrillator get I cry a little bit <laughs> try to wake try, try to revive her she comes back alive and then I'm like wait whoa 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 yeah and I think I think that you know for him the, the immediate thing is he wants to figure out what happened to me and for Vera it's like screw what happened to me I can't explain it I can't explain that but what I am interested in is whatever just impacted the earth um, you know it, it's an interesting it's an interesting thing that uh, Vera's Vera's power and what happened to her gets discovered later on and the pilot you know some of the characters we get to find out right away that this gift has been bestowed upon them that they are a messenger um, and they kind of realize something odd had happened Vera I don't think quite understands what happened but I don't think that she died and, and I don't think she thinks that she died for her it's more a mission to find answers on what exactly this was what is happening and she's an interesting voice for for the audience because she is a scientist because she questions because she's not going to take it from a faith standpoint or a religious standpoint, she's going to take it from a scientific standpoint. It's what exactly happened. Give me answers. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to theorize. I'm going to test it. We're going to figure it out. Um, and and that allows you know a little bit more of a logical standpoint for the audience. And it also allows for somewhere to go with everything that's going to happen this season. So why do they automatically think aliens versus why don't they think angels? Well, uh, I, my yeah, character why? Alan Harris, he is a uh, he's a believer in many many things. No matter how strange it is, uh, and it, from his point of view, uh, he, he likes the idea of aliens. He likes the idea that of, of ancient ancient uh, a, astronaut the, the theory of ancient ancient astronauts, um, and it's part of his science. He's a radio astronomer. He likes what's out in in, uh, in the in the in the void, and he wants to know what's out there. So a part of I mean that's a part of his thing. And so for him, when there's an anomaly like this, he thinks, okay, this might be it. This might be the thing that he's been trying to track down for years. His he never crew, lets that go. Trust me. <laughs> so, um, you know, and then of course when this whole thing comes along with the messengers and, and there's, a, there's an aspect of the way I look at him is, is from an audience perspective because he doesn't have, he doesn't get a gift. Well, I guess his gift is gets to work with fear or Buckley, but it's also his curse because she's such oh, yeah. a pain in the, anyway, but, um, but you know, his, from his perspective, um, I think it's something that he looks at as, as a, both amazing, uh, because of its its airiness, it's both amazing and uh, uh, puzzling. Um, so you know, some, anything for him to discover that's out of the ordinary, I think, is is gold. Yeah, is, scientists, is gold for him. it's like anytime you get presented with something you don't understand or know, it's like a gold mine. You know, you just really get to dive in, and for for us as scientists, that's exactly what it is. When this you know mysterious object hits Earth, it's a gold mine for us, and we have to fight against a lot of different forces to figure that out. And that's a theme that, that kind of goes throughout the whole story in between everything else. It's, you know, our story and our hunt for what exactly that was and where did it come from. So are they going to think the mysterious man's an alien then? I don't know. I mean, Alan well, I'm sure, I'm sure Alan. Well, I'm sure Alan thinks he's an alien. He, oh, he thinks everyone's an alien. He thinks we've been seated here from the stars.